Hi everyone, it's Nick. Today I would like to show you a very beautiful game. This game was played in Madrid in 1933. And this is the game between Martin Ortueta and Jose Sanz Aguado. Jose Sanz Aguado was a Spanish champion and this game is notable just because of its amazing ending so Martin started with e4 e6 d3 d5 and we have French defense Knight to c3 was played. Knight to f6. e5. Kicking the knight. Knight goes to d7. F f4 was played. Pretty aggressive play from Ortueta bishop to b4 was played pinning the knight and and threatening d4 bishop d2 and pinning black castle kingside knight to f3 f6 A very strange position. D4 was played. C5 undermining this pawn structure. What to do now? White played knight to B. Five F takes on E five D takes E Rook takes on F four Bishop cannot take the rook because it is pinned. c3 was played and it looks like a very good move attacking the rook and the bishop at the same time what to do now rook to e4 was played check bishop to e2 covering the king bishop to a5 now white Castled kingside. Knight takes on e5. Knight takes knight. Rook takes knight. What next? Bishop to f4 was played. Attacking the rook. f5. Bishop to d3, attacking the rook again. f6. Queen to c3. Queen to c2 was played. And white created this dangerous battery against h7. How to defend? h6 was played bishop to e5 attacking the rook again what to do now this is a very tricky position for black because if rook takes rook then 
a rook takes rook and black king is sweating because of because mm, these guys aren't developed yet and only queen defends the king and mm, let's let's do a random move if if for example knight to c6 attacking the bishop then possible continuation would be knight to h7 check and king has only one square to go he goes to h8 then we would have this beautiful sacrifice on g7 bishop g7 check king is forced to take bishop queen to g6 check king to h8 and now a rook to f7 and white is threatening and checkmate on g7 is unstoppable so he cannot take the rook let's go back to our position what would you play in this position so Jose Sanz kept his cool in this position and played knight to d7 attacking the bishop bishop takes rook knight takes bishop and Ortueta captured the knight if he doesn't capture the knight then um, Sans would play something like a6 kicking this knight and uh, he is threatening to create his own battery with uh, queen d6 and bishop c7 and later knight to g4 and this would be very dangerous so he captured this knight queen ta queen takes rook rook to f1 rook to f1 attacking this queen queen to e7 was played bishop to h7 check king to h8 queen to g6 doesn't look like a good position for black does it white is threatening rook to f7 and to checkmate the king on g7 what to do now let's see how Sans defends his pos his position he plays bishop to d7 attacking this knight interesting rook to f7 threatening checkmate he plays queen to g5 leaving this bishop hanging so now Martin captured the queen but let's go back if a rook takes bishop then we would have this continuation queen to c1 check king to f2 rook to f8 check rook to f7 defending the king queen takes on b2 check king to f3 and 
Rook takes Rook. Queen takes Rook. King takes Bishop and black is okay so let's go back to our game so in this position Martin Ortueta captured the king the queen pawn captured the queen rook takes bishop king takes bishop rook takes on b7 bishop b bishop b6 was played cutting the rook from this file c4 so ortueta sacrificed this pawn in order to double this to double jose san's pawns and to undermine the later so sans captured on c4 knight to c3 was played a rook to d8 h3 a rook to d2 Attack, attacking the pawn on b2 and white played knight to a4 it looks like a very good a very good move because knight is attacking this bishop and also defending the pawn on b2 and here a surprise move a surprise move is coming what would you play in this position? What is the best move for black in this position? I looked at this position many times and and there is no way I play the move that was played in the game. So now a very beautiful combination is coming. Rook takes on b2. Wow, what a stunner! Sun sacrificed the rook. So, obviously, knight takes rook. And now, c3 was played, attacking the knight. What to do now? How to stop this pawn from queening? it looks like a helpless position a helpless situation how to stop this pawn so in this position he plays martin plays rook takes bishop if pawn takes rook then knight to d3 and if for example c4 then knight to c1 and white is winning so let's go back rook takes bishop c4 was played what next he's at he's threatening he's threatening c2 and queening so rook to b4 was played and now a5 attacking the rook knight takes on c4 and what now how to continue so the final move of the game was c2 and white resigned because there is no way he can prevent this pawn queening 
what a beautiful game what a beautiful ending so I hope you enjoyed this game and you got something from it, from it. Uh, comments or questions on YouTube see you next time